You know, it used to be simple. Back in the day, you were dropped on a small map with a weak blaster, searched for a better weapon, and blew anyone you came across to bloody pixels. Today, multiplayer shooters are a lot more complex. One time you're choosing between heroes, the other time you land on a big map with 99 other people, and sometimes you just need to keep track of your level and perks. Crucible contains all of those rules and mixes them together into a cocktail that leaves you with a bad hangover. Crucible is a team-based multiplayer shooter where you travel to a faraway planet in order to acquire, sometimes violently, rare resources. Just like in a battle royale game, the game takes place on a huge map that is neatly divided into recognizable zones. And just like in a hero shooter, there are a handful of unique characters to choose from, each with their own set of abilities, skill trees, and preferred loadout. And to top it all off, the developer Relentless took inspiration from MOBAs and added a PvE layer as a progression system. The battlefield is teeming with alien wildlife to test your shooting skills on, and every prey you take down gives your entire team experience points so that you can climb that skill tree. All these parts should have fallen neatly together, but unfortunately, the execution leaves to be desired. Let's take a look at Crucible. Before we dive any further, I would like to point out that I'm reviewing this game from the perspective of a solo player. Please keep that in mind as we move forward. Now, let's start with the characters. Each character is neatly designed, has a cool backstory, and plays differently from one another. However, none of their abilities synergize well with each other. It's like the game wants you to play as a team, but then gives you a character that feels more like a lone wolf. The Crucible also doesn't have a holy trinity system. There are no tanks, there are no healers in this game, there's just DPSers and some of them have supporting or sustaining abilities. And because of this, any semblance of team play is quickly forgotten and everyone just goes solo. And it doesn't help that you pick your character before matchmaking either. There's no way of changing your character once you're in a match. The MOBA aspect of this game also crumbles by the weird decisions that were made by the developers. For example, you start at level 1 with all of your active skills, and only obtain passive boosts as you level up. You also need to choose those buffs before the start of every match, and cannot change those buffs when the match has started. This means you cannot adapt to battlefield situations, and you only get these passives for the first 5 levels of a match. After that, it's just damage and health boosts. There's also a big discrepancy between levels. If the enemy is even one level higher than you, they just steamroll you and snowball into higher levels, forcing you to kill wildlife instead of working on the objectives. I'm talking about killing wildlife, collecting essence, Crucible's version of experience points, is just a huge bore. There are no exciting PvE moments, there are no stampedes, no wildlife fighting each other, they're just standing there using their idle animation. And because the shooter gameplay elements are also lacking, the PvP moments also feel lackluster. There are normally three game modes in Crucible that have a lot of potential, but never truly shine. The main game mode is Heart of the Hives, where you need to collect hearts from hives that randomly spawn on the map every few minutes. But because of the size of the map and the long respawn times, these battles never feel like an exciting back and forth. The Crucible has everything it needs to be to become a strong free-to-play shooter, but it feels like it's in an identity crisis at the moment. I just hope that a few more months back into the oven will remedy that. They've already added the much-needed VoIP and minimap features, so things are looking up for this game. The developer has also uploaded a roadmap for the game that is constantly being updated. I will leave a link to that roadmap in the description below. In conclusion, this game gets a 5 out of 10 from me and a 6 out of 10 if you're playing with friends, as playing in a well-organized team does help mediate some of its flaws. It's a game with nice characters, a vibrant setting, a lot of good ideas, but it lacks in execution, respawn timers, and team synergy. Thank you so much for watching, and as we're wrapping up, I would love to point you in the direction of our community Discord server. We're growing by today and have a lot of awesome people over there. Link is in the description below. There you will also find a link to our Twitch page where we stream 5 days a week and end our streams with raids on other smaller streamers. Hope to see you all there.
Lastly, you will also find a link to our Twitter page, where you can stay up to date on everything that's happening on my YouTube channel, Twitch channel, and even real life. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you when I see you. We won already? That's awesome.